Hi everyone, I'm doing the review of what's meant to be a robotic vacuum. Now it's meant to be switched off when you put it on charge. I'm going to leave it on charge while I show you what it's like. I'm going to tell you the good, if we can say that, of the vacuum. And then I'm going to tell you what I do not like from it and why it's going back to Amazon uh, first thing tomorrow morning. Now, number one, when it arrives, it arrives with four side brushes. So don't panic when you find them out of place. That's how they're meant to come. All you do is just slot it in. Now, when it's working, both brushes go like this, inwards position. So with time, the brushes are going to get um, this movement to the side and they're going to stay. All you do if you want them to last a little bit longer is just swap them from one place to the other. That's it. Now, in the middle, it has, you can see the hole right now, it's just a hole with a little rubber flap. So the rubbish stays here. The wheels are kind of a um, hard rubber and they have the suspension. They're meant to go up rugs. Uh, my rug has this much height once probably i don't know centimeter it doesn't go up that rug so it's a bit annoying because i need to vacuum the rug roll the rug put it on top of a piece of furniture um but try and vacuum under now the bin mm -hmm. you press here and let me show you just a little basket comes out as you, you'll be able to see there there we go Hold on. there's the hole where the rubbish comes in this is the container and you open the side this is how you can remove this filter this is the rubbish I've managed to pick up um, in four different tries that I've tried to actually vacuum and I'll tell you why. And then this is the other filter that comes from here. You can remove it. How often do you need to change it? Just keep an eye on it. When it looks really, really bad, it's time to get it changed. Um, some houses will need more changes, more frequent. Others will need less changes. So it all depends. There's no one rule for all. And if you listen to the manufacturers, not of this product, of any product, and religiously, let's say you change it every three um, three months, because that's what they say. Um, you could be just wasting your money. So just keep an eye on it. Just this way. And I'm going to explain to you the remote. The remote, you've got a start and a pause. Respond, to be honest with you, the instruction manual, manual um, I don't know respond the instruction manual let me explain so it says focus button under the operating mode um, the machine will enter the focus mode after you press this button under the standby mode the machine will enter the focus mode after you press this button yeah we know that if it says focus and we press focus it's going to go into focus button but what on earth is focus button well you'll have to read this lovely the whole thing focus i'm going to show you here um is if let's say it's in this area and you can tell there's crumbs or extra um, rubbish you press the focus button and it's meant to do kind of a square going staying in that area if that makes sense okay um the auto it's meant to do i don't know if you've done the you've seen the mapping ones the one that have the mapping software and it literally is meant to be going like this all the time and the random button it just looks like you've given it a couple of shots of tequila and it's just rumbling around with doesn't have a clue where to go so the auto button mentally is the one that you would say yeah that's the one i want and the respond button all it does it just bleeps back at you so you press this and it just bleeps um, I don't know what I can't 
just in case you lose it around the home i'm just going to say that okay so instructions they could be explained much better uh the brushes the bristles i don't know they're just side brushes i'm not going to be or for nail the problem comes when all these buttons do exactly the same and the battery that's meant to be between 40 and 60 minutes mm -hmm. um that must be on what it would you say uh, that would be on on hard floors or vinyl i suppose um definitely not on carpet and my carpet i've only managed to try in my reception area that's a very low pile carpet and it doesn't it doesn't even reach the half an hour and it dies and it needs charging again yes it comes with um charger adapter uh, it has a three pin plug that's great it's made for the uk i've just on purpose left these crumbs because i have noticed i mean the way it's designed the rubbish comes back out so let's try i'm going to unplug it and i plug it turn it on i'm going to press the auto right if you've seen it auto it's meant to do like the mapping system i'm going to press the auto start it's not coming back so if you can see it's not and it's not that I need to press it after. It doesn't have any software, so it's not a matter that you need to, you know, map the house, in this case, my desk. Yeah. Um, it's just, it's random. Now, I'm going to uh, press the start and then press the focus. So, basically, it should stay on this area. That's a good thing. Okay. Get away from my laptop. <laughs> I still press focus. Okay, just... As you can see, it's going. Random. If I'm honest with you, it feels like it's doing the same pattern over and over again, uh, regardless of which mode I put it on. I'm going to try auto. And the response is to bleed oh i'm here the arrows you can actually turn it around uh, turn it to the side back forward back so it's like um control remote car more or less i'm going to turn it around all the way but on its own i'm going to stop it um on its own why give it three modes if it just does one thing it's just mimic now i've done a lot of um, reading of other robot vacuums i've read how some mapping um apps uh, are really just mapping apps i've read how um they've got little cameras at the top and they don't do anything i've read all that um but one thing is that a nap doesn't communicate well at etc or the the software is no good and another thing is to give you a remote with three different modes when all three are the same now i'm sorry because this product actually has good reviews online um but it's just it's just simply not right um i don't understand how it got the good reviews i don't know if i've got 41 um you know or i haven't all i know is that i haven't removed um any of the stickers you know i even have the blue one which says please initially um take it off before usage because it's going back i you know it's it's just terrible quality 
um, the battery lasts very little there's loads of us at home and I can't get it to work more than 20 25 half an hour max and then charging it takes forever it's like six eight hours so I don't know maybe for um, an apartment flat or something very small with hard floors perhaps but for me no so I'm sorry guys but this one it's a clear thumb zone I uh, wouldn't touch it with a barge pole okay <laughs> it could be really good for you it's simply not good for me all I can say is thanks for watching